Testing, testing, one, two, three. We are live. We are live. We are alive. All right. So chain locks and sex. This is what this is, guys. All right. I was thinking about getting a bunk bed. Something like this would be real nice. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? So I'll be back after these messages. I promise. Yep, yep. Okie dokie, let me see what is going on here. Oh, wonderful. That is wonderful. Um, let's see. Chat box copy. What the fuck? Okay. Chat box. Good, good, good. And the other side. Let's see. Good, 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 good. Okay, this is on the other side. Yep. So everybody can get in line with my show. Thanks, guys. 110%. Dude. Okay. Um, let me be right back. Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to put on my bikini now. What kind of bikini would you like me to wear? Hmm? I'm going to have lots of muffins for you guys. Muffins. The bluffin' muffins. And then I will play uh, League of Legends, I believe. That's what what's on our docket today. Um, let me know if you have an issue with the lighting. All right. So let me go change into my uh, uh, bikini. Okay, um, there we go. That's a better set, um, maybe. All right, I don't know if that's actually, because oh, I will be streaming soon. And I don't want you staring at the table, really. Okay, what's up? There we go. Here we go, guys. Awesome. Okay. 
All right, bikini changes, bikini changes. Hello, hello, hello. Is there anybody out there? Hello, what happened? Can somebody tell me what happened? Seriously, what has happened? Something just happened. What happened here? I have lost you guys somehow. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> That's better. That's way better. Whoo. Is everybody able to see me now? You see me? Come on. All right. I don't know why I'm not able to see this one. So I'm going to upload another one. And why? You, can, you are unable to see it. Okay. I'm, I'm lost and confused here. I think it has to be above the webcam. I haven't a clue right now. I don't I don't quite understand this. Okay, so I'm gonna do my bikini change. Um bikini change bikini change. Decline, oh my goodness. No, 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 no. This is what's happening right now. Cambria Wallet Segway Historic Of course, of course, um Gothic Light Y'all want to listen to this, no? The gas like we're never coming back Your boots look really big. This is the shirt that you always say that in. Oh, oh is it? Yes. <laughs> yes, which is so funny to be because this is the one that has, this is one of the only shirts that doesn't have cleavage because, you know, mm -hmm. that's how my shirts are. <laughs> um, and so, but it's the one that you always say that. Okay. Yeah, and I'm not even, I'm not wearing the padding. I'm not wearing the lift. This is just the regular one. And uh, I believe it's because it is so tight that it's the waist looks small. Yes, that's what it is. Your waist looks very, very small. And then the red, which we've talked about before, how you're like the human eye, like red pops out, your eyes drawn to red. And so it's like red, black. Yeah. That's what it is. I feel very hot today. You should. You look really hot today. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I'm wearing like, I'm wearing, I'm wearing these pants. I mean, I'm just at home, but I still feel like I'm just like casually awesomely hot. Yeah. There was one time um, I had to stop by my mom's house before I was like running errands or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I went over and she's like, why do you look so pretty? And I'm like, I wanted to dress up. Like, because I was like, skirt, my turkey, like crop top. Oh, so she meant like, why are you so dressed up? Like, why, why do you look pretty? Sounds a bit like passive aggressive. How strange you're attractive today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, she didn't say that. I think she said, like, what are you all dressed up for or something like that. I'm okay. like, I just need to look pretty today. Mm -hmm. I need to remind myself that I'm hot. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah I, I get that. that. You know what's so funny? I remember, oh my God, I feel like this podcast has turned into like all the times my mom was right. Uh, <laughs> when I was in high school, you know, in one of, well, I don't even call it a phase. I was very depressed uh, the whole time. And I remember whenever summer would come, I did nothing. I would lay in bed as long as possible. I would not shower. I wouldn't brush my teeth. I would just lay there and I would like sleep until whatever, one, two o'clock. Sometimes she would come in and like vacuum around me and I'd be so pissed off that she was trying to get me to fucking wake up. And then I would just like get up, get some food, eat it, laying down on the couch, watching TV. I was super depressed. Uh, and then I would, st- I would stay up all night, honestly, but doing nothing. <laughs> And then do it the next day, all summer. And uh, I remember my mom telling me, get dressed. I'm like, why? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. She's like, it'll make you feel better. You feel bad because you're not getting dressed. You're, you know, you're not washing your face. You're not taking a shower. I was like, yeah, you don't know. That doesn't make you feel better to put clothes on. To shower, to, to put, put makeup, makeup on, and feel like a human. What are you, fucking idiot? <laughs> of course, when lockdown happened, I went through a similar phase and quickly was like, "No, I cannot do this," because I know my brain. I know my brain now. It's taken a long time, but I know it. I'm like, I have to get up. I have to put makeup on. I have to do my hair. Or, or I, I will just, just collapse. collapse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, I mean, it's kind of just like reminding yourself, oh, you're human. Mm-hmm. Like, like, you look like a human. Yeah. Go yeah. do human things. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, I just, I just naturally will feel better about myself, which then translates to everything else that I'm doing. So, yeah, it's, it's dominoes. It just, like, starts to fall. Yes. Yes, yes like it's all way. dominoes. Yeah. It's all dominoes. Speaking of, you got your hair done. It looks so nice. Thank you. Oh my god. Yeah. It. I think my roots were like 15 inches or something. It was ridiculous. They were quite long. They were quite long. Yeah. And then, like for the first like couple months of my roots growing out, it looks cute. It's like, oh, look, she's like trendy with an ombre or a balayage. And then after a while, it's like, oh, is she going through something? Because that looks bad. <laughs> I even told you, I was like, just dye it all black. But you knew that you wanted to. Go, go back, back pink, pink. and, and yeah. if you go black you can't yeah. go back <laughs> yeah no that's true in so many ways apparently <laughs> um but yeah and also i had already gone from pink to black like when i'd come back to work after uh like lockdown and pandemic and everything uh, a few months into like me going back to work i was like fuck this i'm not dealing with this hair anymore and then i dyed it all black and then i quit and i was like wait no but after i quit can i just dye my hair back to pink <laughs> And, and so, so I did. <laughs> like a month later. <laughs> so I can't, I can't. It looks it. really good. Uh, you make me I want to have my pink hair back. I miss it. I miss it so much. I remember um, one time I went to a um, store. I don't remember where we went. But uh, some dude there said it not even like flirting. It was, it was a statement. He just said, your hair looks like cotton candy. Let me look at my my heart. My heart. It was like he got down on one knee and said, you are the most beautiful, breathtaking goddess I have ever seen in my life. I was just like, thank you. Thank you. It's it's so funny because like I'll get compliments on my hair every once in a while, like before I touch up my roots and like touch up the color and everything. And it's like, oh, you have pink hair, it's cute. But like it's like down here, so it's like, oh, it's mostly black, and then there's a little bit of pink, so it just looks like a mess. I literally left my appointment, it didn't even blow dry my hair, it was still wet, and like it was freezing that day too, but it was wet and just kind of like wild and everything. I probably within like the hour of me leaving i had to make a couple stops i got maybe like seven compliments just like oh my god i love your hair like immediately pink hair yeah it's wet it's like frizzy and everything just because like that's what my hair naturally is and so it's just like a poof ball and it's just people like oh my god it's so pretty people love it do you i mean it's become so much more common now but even then it's still not 
completely mainstream. There are so many people who like always wish they could do that. You know, like the mermaid hair trend, huge for a while with all of the colors and the teals and the purples and the pinks and everything. And I would say that for like every Instagram post I saw about it, which was a lot of them, it was like one person did it and then it was 30 people sharing those people's pictures saying, oh my God, I wish I could do this, but my job, but my, you know, but I have kids, but, but I'm too old, but it, there's always a but, 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> And, and so, so yeah, yeah, I think it's a weird thing when people see somebody who's actually done it. It's not about the hair. I oh, I say this about every fucking thing we talk about. The thing's not the thing. The hair is beautiful. It is beautiful. It, but it's also like the freedom to do that thing. Um, oh, the idea. My yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm so sorry. You just reminded me that like, I remember why I have pink hair. It was, it was a thing. My parents, first of all, they never, I used to be one of those kids that had hair down to my ass. And really? like it was, oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I had, had so much hair. hair. I was basically like cousin it. I was just like long, straight, no layers hair. hair. Like it was just long for days. Mm -hmm. I looked like, I looked homeschooled. Like it was long. <laughs> I looked um, homeschooled. I don't even know. There's a look. And I know oh that other goodness. people oh. are going to understand exactly what I'm talking about. This is. Okay, continue. There's a look. Anyway. <laughs> So I wasn't allowed to cut it, I wasn't allowed to dye it, I wasn't allowed to do anything. And then finally I was able to cut it, and I cut it like super short. And then after that I just kept cutting it off, because I was like, freedom! So like, I practically had like a shaved head at some point. Like, it was very short. Because it was like, you let me, you gave me an inch and I took the rest of the world. Like, sounds right. Yeah. So it was one of the things that my dad hated when I colored my hair. Um, and I was living at, like, I think I was still in high school. I was definitely living at home. And it was just one of those things, like, when I move out of here, I'm dyeing my hair bubblegum pink. And you can't stop me. And I literally have said these words to him. And here I am. Mm, it was a declaration of freedom. It was. And I, yeah, I feel free. Yep. I, I can't stop. I fucking nailed it. <laughs> even, when, even though you didn't remember that. So I'm telling you, when other people see it, some I, yes, obviously there is. A, oh my God, that's pretty. But there's so many other layers to it. It's a thing, and I and I get it. I remember, I wanted not like your color. You're more like fuchsia. I I wanted baby pink, cotton candy hair for so long. It was. It was just, I, I can't explain it. It was just a string. Like, it's just so beautiful. It's so girly. I love the circus. I love cotton candy. But it also is, like, ethereal. I also had a thing for fairies, like, real bad when I was in high school. Um, yeah, oh, I loved fairies so much. Oh, yeah, I would do, like, fairy day. I called it that, like, most Fridays, where I just had all, like, pink and blue and glitter and, like, big, like, you know where your eyeshadow goes into your blush? Uh -huh. And it was just, like, bam, and then, like, frosty pink lipstick, and I would tease my hair up to make it, like, big and poofy and, like, wild woman natural, and I would put sticks and leaves in it. I, 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 I got teased a lot. Thinking back, I probably shouldn't have put the sticks in my hair. <laughs> Whatever. It made me happy. I would put sticks in my hair. And uh, I just was really into fairies. And so the idea of doing all of that, but with the pink, oh, I just thought it, would, it was just, it was magic. It was magic. And I, I remember that at the time, because I'm, I'm a little bit older than you. Only a little. Only a little bit. A few hours. <laughs> um, at the time, it was not common at all to see it, especially... San Antonio, especially, poor San Antonio, like, that's not a thing that you saw, you know? Um, and when, uh, this was when, like, Gwen Stefani, she dyed her hair pink a little bit after that, so when I would talk about it, people would be like, oh, like Gwen Stefani, but no, not like her, like me, like me. But then they had a collab where they did, uh, the, what do they call the Harajuku girls? Remember she had like all of her, yeah, the, the whole like Japanese fashion and style and everything. And they had these dolls. I think they were, they were not Bratz dolls, but they were similar to Bratz dolls where they were like super trendy Harajuku dolls, right? And I was with my boyfriend at the time, the not good relationship that I was in. And this was a little bit like, I think I, because after I graduated high school, I like did shit, shit all. I did nothing for the first like year and a half. 
and we went to Walmart. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just, yeah. Like, yeah, no, this is what I do now. I just exist. Mm -hmm. um, we went to Walmart for something, and this is, you know, like I said, that was not a good relationship. We were very poor. The goal was to one day get my parents' trailer. You know, if they bought a house, they were gonna let me and him buy the trailer, and I was like, oh my god, that's gonna be amazing. We're gonna have our own trailer, like. I was, I, was, I was doing a lot of nothing. He was, he was doing, doing a lot of nothing. And, and there was no end in sight. Mm -hmm. We went to Walmart. And I remember walking down the aisle and I saw one of those dolls. And she had the pink hair. And she had on like the cute, like whatever, platform shoes and the vinyl puffy skirt. Like all of this. She just was adorable. And I started crying. And he came from whatever other aisle he's in. I was like, what's your problem? And I was showing him the doll. And I was like, I'm not supposed to be here. This isn't my life. I'm supposed to have this. This is, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to have this. And I remember feeling like so scared to say this out loud. But I told him, because I was just so emotional crying. I was like, I'm supposed to do something special. Like, I just knew this wasn't right. And he got so mad. He got so pissed off because it, it was like I was talking shit about our life. You know how he took it? Because he was very, I mean, I was. Yeah, but like a good person would be like, what do you mean? Like, let's work on this. Or like, what do you want to do? Or something like that. Yeah, no, he started yelling at me in the middle of the Walmart. You think you're better than me? He started yelling at me in the middle of the Walmart. And, uh, I'm getting super TMI, but whatever. Uh, his father passed away when we were, I want to say, eighth grade or ninth grade. This is a very like that we've graduated, whatever. He started yelling at me because, like I said, it was like I was talking shit about our life or whatever. And he's like, what the fuck makes you think you're special? You Pink hair? Pink hair, that's what's important to you. Your fucking pink hair. Sorry my dad died. Yeah, yeah I, and I, I that was like it's so, so vivid in my head, head because then it was just instantly conversation, conversation shut down. The conversation was shut down, and it goes to me apologizing. Oh, because he won. He won. He has all the problems. I mean, it's true. His dad did die. It's true. But he was. No, I know. He, well, I've I've said this before. It was not a good relationship. It was very abusive. It was very manipulative. I didn't know any better. I was young. I was stupid. Blah 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 blah. But, but it was a quick way to always shut, shut down, down any problem we had, any need that I had, any issue or whatever. And it turned into me apologizing to him and me comforting him and me feeling like an asshole for wanting more, you know, and it was, but, and again, whatever, whatever. I've grown, I'm stronger. I left that relationship, but I still like, you know, I believe in the woo woo. And, and the, 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 the universe and the, and the magic, magic and everything. And, and I just, I, I think it's so, so crazy that even when I didn't fucking know anything, I didn't know what I was going to do. I had no goals. I had no plans. I had nothing. I had nothing. <laughs> that I could look at the doll and like just know, like, I'm, I'm supposed to do stuff. Like, like magical, magical fun, fun beautiful, beautiful stuff. That's, That's my life. life. And I got my pink hair, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I do love that, that like, even though, yes, you were not being receptive to messages from the universe or anything like that, like, it's always been like looking out for you, saying like, no, 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 like, you're not on the right path right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's exactly what it look was. Look at this doll. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a, it was a sign. It was like a, it was a giant fucking hit me in the face. You are not even close to being on the right path. And like I said, even if some people that don't believe in the woo, -woo that are just like that, you know, whatever things just happen. Okay, well that thing happened. <laughs> some things felt wrong. I saw something that felt right. I followed that path, and shit feels real fucking right now. Hey. Yeah. How can you argue with that? Yeah. Yeah. So even though now, like, I do think about the, again, you make me want to have the pink hair again.
<laughs> you do make me want to have it. Uh, but I, I don't. I don't feel like uh, personally it represents that anymore, um, because I know I can. I could. You know, now it's just a matter of like, oh, but like with wigs, I can have the versatility. I can try different things. You know, all that stuff. Upkeep. I hate upkeep. I hate upkeep on anything. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, god. I fucking. I told, I told you, you, I got these humidifiers because Vegas, Vegas is dry as fuck. Yeah. yeah. I gotta, gotta clean them, and water them, and. Might every well day! Yeah. yeah! I might as well have fucking a kid or plants. I have to water these motherfuckers every single day. They dry out. If I don't clean them, they get filled with mild, mild, mild? mold and mildew. <laughs> Milled, milled. <laughs> they get filled with milled. Um, and so I had, like, I found out because I accidentally left left it off when I went out of town one time. Came back full of fucking mold, and so I had to take them apart, bleach them. It was like a two day process because we had to like clean it, let it air dry, bleach it, sanitize it. I'm like, what the fuck? I might as well have a baby. <laughs> it's the same thing. I don't. Well, the humidifiers don't give you a tax credit, so... Oh, they should. I'm helping the environment. Maybe. <laughs> I'm putting humidity in the air. Anyway, I don't like to keep up with anything. I don't... I'm not good at that. I need everything to be as easy as possible. Yeah. <laughs> so no pink hair. So no pink hair. Not for me. But I'm glad that you have it. <laughs> what else is new? What else is new? Um, honestly, like, a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> it's been working, which has been great. Um, and then, oh my god. Okay, actually, I didn't tell you this. Um, I got spam-botted, I guess, sort of. Oh, on Twitch? Instagram, on um, Instagram. Instagram thought that I was a spam-bot. My account got taken down for, like, a minute. Oh, my, I thought you meant you got spam-botted like you got flooded with bots. They thought you were a bot? They thought I was a bot. I had to like re-authenticate my account. I had to like log in. I had to do the catch buzz with the choose all the stairs and like submit my phone number and like do all the things. And then I still tried posting and it was like, it got taken down immediately. It was like post. And then I was gonna share the post like right after to my stories. And I was getting a notification that it was taken down for spam. I was like, what the fuck is going on? I was freaking out. Because, Are you, like, I, is it like, are you using too many hashtags? Is it because I don't know what it was? Um, Are you linking directly to fans like? Because I know that they don't like that. Well, they haven't caught that because that would be a violation of like other guidelines. I was specifically being cited for spam, which was so weird. But then I got an email like an hour later from Instagram saying like, "Whoopsie, you're not spam. Sorry about that." Oh, it literally was like we made a mistake. You're actually not spam. If yeah. you have any other issues, please respond. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> that is weird. I'm glad you got it taken care of. I know what a pain that is. Because yeah. I've been posting a lot on there, trying to, like, you know, generate more um, interest. Yeah. Um, which it has. It has been working, uh, which has been really wonderful. But I yes, also... you're fucking killing it with this Fansly. I work, like, I feel like you. I work literally every single day. All day. Mm-hmm. I took a day off last week. I took my first day off in a month last week. Pussy. <laughs> and then I was still checking it. Okay, well then that's not fully a day off. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. I get. Shit. Yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday I was working out and my brain was wandering instead of uh, focusing, which is not never a good sign. It usually means other things are going on in my head if that's what happens when I'm working out. Meaning, Meaning when I don't have a phone in my hand. Um, and I was like, I think I need to take a break. I'm like, I'm like this close to burnout. Yeah. And maybe by this close, I mean, I'm already like in burnout, but I'm just pushing through it like really hard. So I think that you do need to take a break because I received an email from you at my time, four o'clock in the morning, which is your time, two o'clock in the morning. Did you like them? <laughs> I did. I love them. They're beautiful. I was editing photos and video all night. All night. I know. And I'm sure that wasn't the last thing that you did before you went to bed. No, that's just the last thing that you know of. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I feel like I'm already in burnout mode. 
but I also feel like very, very close to some goals that I had and some launching of projects and stuff. So I'm like, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. And I also have this like guilt, I think. Well, not I think, I know I have guilt issues of, um, I am working, I'm working hard, but because it's not the job I had for so long, which is the shows, Mm-hmm. There's like a subconscious thing that's like, I'm not working. I'm not even working. How dare I feel tired? How dare you want a break or a vacation? You're not even working. You haven't worked in two years. Yeah, you haven't worked in two fucking years. Yeah. That is not true. I am doing a different, many different kinds of jobs now. Yeah. But like my core, my soul that knows what my job and my purpose is, is like, you ain't done shit for two years. You don't get a break. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. definitely not true. Yeah. As seen by the two o'clock in the morning email. <laughs> yeah. I know. Anyways, good. I'm glad. I'm, gl- I'm glad, yeah. though, because you are working every day, but you're not. You are, one, doing it for yourself, which, I mean, the fact is every job sucks. Right. I mean, not every job. I, I like my job. Every, jobs are hard. Jobs are hard. That's what I meant to say. Jobs are hard. So to have the privilege of doing that labor for yourself is wonderful. Mm-hmm. It's wonderful. So I'm happy for you. Thank you. Um, it's it's been great. Like I said, like I mean, well, like I've said before, I've had so many wonderful people that are like a part of my little smut community I guess um they're so kind and I've gotten so many like gifts and well wishes and just like hey I want this to be successful for you um I've also just gotten like weird like on Instagram mostly because once they sign up they already like love me um but like for the people that don't and just want to like harass on Instagram there's a lot of people that just want stuff for free which is obnoxious um I got a message which is just one of the weirdest ones that I've gotten which is you don't, don't look, look too gross. gross. And that was it. That is all that they sent. At that is some the fucking pickup artist. What do they call that? Oh, oh negging? Negging. That, that is some yeah. negging yeah. ass <laughs> bullshit. Uh, of this, this person. Some... Sorry. This is coming from someone who has zero pictures of themselves. Mm-hmm. But they do have their own profile picture. It's, it's not they them. Don't, they, they googled. Don't, they googled they dude, dude holding fish or whatever he's doing in a profile <laughs> picture. That's just, it's not them. If they have, they have no pictures posted, this is their burner account that they use to harass women. So that way, the women cannot go and find the wife because you know how popular it is where people will like send the DMs to the wife saying, "Hey, do you know your husband's messaging me?" these things or the mom or whatever so these idiots have gotten smarter and they're making these burner accounts to harass women so they can't do that that makes sense all i said back was like because like the picture is not of of a great looking person i just said wish i could say the same for you god bless (laughs) god bless oh my god i hope you have like that emoji the little (laughs) (laughs) the prayer hand yeah (laughs) <laughs> oh my god you give them so much more energy and i know and I, know that, I know you you do what you enjoy but i'm like uh you don't know i'm not gonna respond to you because that's what you want yeah that's what you want is attention it's look hey, please please a moment of your time ma'am please ma'am crumb of your time a crumb of, a, a pittance of your time ma'am <laughs> fuck off you want it you can pay for it yeah. Oh, I did tell you about the guy that said that he wanted to um, 